guys snap the losing streak? How good does it feel to just get a win and to get a win like this? Um, it feels good, you know. Um, I think we really know what we're capable of doing. Um, and I think we showed it today. Uh, we, we, I think that last game in Portland kind of struck a chord in a lot of us. And um, we came today with a little bit more fight, a little bit more grit, and just edge. When you look at overall at just how this game went about, what was the difference maker, especially in that second half? Uh, what changed for you guys? Uh, just level of physicality. I think, you know, when we're locked in defensively, uh, pushing, you know, just involving, rebounding, um, you know, it transitions to the offense very well. Um, and it, it kind of hit a point where we were having a lot of fun with it, too, you know, just because of how well we was doing it uh, defensively. So um, we just played with a sense of urgency, you know, and that's really what, you know, turn it up a notch, uh, especially in that third quarter. Obviously, you mentioned the Portland game and the way that ended striking a chord, but I'm curious, Jacques was talking about how he showed a clip at halftime. Nobody was putting a hand on anybody. Mm -hmm. Is that something that also struck a chord and made you guys kind of look in the mirror and determine you need to be more physical? Um, for sure. Um, you know, I think, you know, like I, I consistently say, you know, we know what we're capable of doing. So sometimes when we don't play to that capability, uh, it, it sure as hell bothers us. Um, and it just starts with just being accountable, holding each other accountable. You know, I think individually, once you show that you can do one thing, you want to see it every single game and just show some consistency. So um, I think that's something that's just next level for us is, you know, we're kind of getting to that point where we're talking to each other, um, holding each other accountable, knowing what's a bad shot, uh, what was a bad uh, risk foul or what, what it is and whatnot. So um, we're growing individually and collectively. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with today's win. Now we just got to keep stacking it. Lonnie, first off, what made you say damn when you walked in looking at the score sheet? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Just the third quarter, 38-22. <laughs> it was a good one. That was a very fun third quarter. I think that's one of our better uh, quarters that we, you know, played. Um, I honestly thought my plus minus was much more than that. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and then Jock just talked about just how you, Dennis, the bench, everyone just kind of gel together and play together. Obviously, for you, just getting back in the swing of things, is this kind of hint at kind of what you guys are you guys, first of all, are you guys getting more comfortable a little bit more with you guys as a bench with you being back? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, I think we're starting to identify our roles collectively. You know, you know, Dennis said it when we was going into the halftime. I'm there to do the dirty work. I'm there to play defense, you know, uh, be a good, terrific point guard, you know, keep that energy alive. Me and CT were there, you know, just to be aggressive, be decisive. CT's really there to, to score. You know, um, so uh, I think collectively and individually, we kind of know what we got to do as far as that second unit bench, you know, and that's just to rally up the energy, pick it up, take it a whole nother level um, and consistently do that. And I think that's something that we've been doing um, night in and night out. I don't think there's really a bench team that's been outworking us. What were you thinking watching Cam Thomas go off like that? And how contagious was it kind of for the whole group? Oh, very contagious. I mean, I called it before we played this game. You know, when you play a drop against a three-level scorer like him, um, the game gets real easy, you know, especially once you get going early. Um, so it was only a matter of time before he got hot. He, he was, from start to finish, on fire. I think he only missed, like, five shots, 13 for 18. Yeah, that boy can score, man, I tell you. So, um, you know, I'm very blessed to, to have someone like him, especially he's only 22 years old, which makes it even crazier, you know, the, the sky's the limit for him, you know, and, and the best is yet to come.